On the first day of 1956, one of the greatest legends of our time recorded Heartbreak Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. His name was Elvis Presley, and this, his first hit, officially introduced him to the American national music consciousness. The song was inspired by a young man who died an untimely death and invoked the last words, I walk a lonely street. It was a song that would serve as the definition of a generation of music unlike anything the world has ever seen since. On that day, something else had taken place, perhaps not so momentous at the time, but that would prove to also define a generation, not of music, but of changing people's lives, and who would also die an untimely death as fate would have it. On January the 1st, 1956, in a gritty little neighborhood tucked away in South Los Angeles called La Mirada, Mark Hughes was born. His life was fairly unremarkable. Born to Joanne Hughes and raised by her and Stuart Hartman, whom she married, Mark was probably reared much like many of us. Mind your manners, be responsible, keep your elbows off the table, make good choices. He was skinny and good looking, polite and friendly, and very protective of his two younger brothers. The quietest of the three boys, he'd inherited his mother's good looks and Stuart's focus and intensity. Like many families of the day, Joanne and Stuart moved the family to Camarillo to try to provide a better life for them, to build a future and keep the family safe. And like many other families of the day, their not-so-picture-perfect marriage fell apart and resulted in a divorce that would change the family forever. Mark's childhood was like many in the growing suburban community. School, day trips to the Channel Islands, bicycle rides and fishing outings. That all came to an end after the divorce and Joanne began to chase her youth, trying fad diet after fad diet. It was a scary time for Mark, and when Joanne became sick in 1969, when Mark was just 13 years of age, the family returned to La Mirada. They lived with her parents, Mark's grandparents, Lawrence and Hazel Hughes, who took the family in and took care of them as only family could. But despite their best efforts, and with Mark's never-ending grief, Joanne died of complications from the deadly combination and steady use of weight loss and sleep aids. Mark was only 19 years of age. It was then he decided he would make a difference in the world with his mother as his beacon and the goal of preventing what had happened to her happened to anybody else. While fundraising for a California youth group, Mark had found his calling. He was charismatic, charming and persuasive. He'd even convinced then Governor Ronald Reagan to part with $500. And with the taste of success in his mouth, the goal of changing lives through better health as his objective, the idea of personal financial freedom and the memory of his mother in his heart, Mark Hughes entered the world of direct selling and network marketing. In 1976, Mark began selling Slender Now diet products, quickly becoming one of their top 100 earners. When the company collapsed in 1979, he sold exercise equipment and weight control products for Golden Youth, another direct sales organization. And when Golden Youth also failed, Mark decided to start his own company. Intrigued by the Eastern philosophy of herbal medicine, combined with the vitamin and mineral technology of the West, he co-developed a line of products that promised a bold, 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. At 24 years of age, Mark Reynolds Hughes, having taken his mother's maiden name, introduced Herbalife in the United States and single-handedly rewrote direct selling history. Unremarkable turned quite remarkable, if you ask me. I often wonder what he would think if he could see us today, sitting here in this arena, looking at how big our organizations have grown, reflecting on the company's incredible retention rate, tasting our new products, walking into a nutrition club, celebrating success 
at a new president's team experience. How proud he would be. How incredibly happy we would have made him. I know in my heart, as many of you do in yours, that his light is what has made this possible. That his vision is what fuels us. That we are forever changed because of his influence on us and his belief that despite what we may think of ourselves every now and again, we're truly remarkable human beings. What a gift we've been given. What an incredible, invaluable, unique gift. I had this incredible dream when I wanted to start the Herbalife company that we could help people lose weight and we could help them do it safely and they would, they would have not just hope, that they would have reality.